Brazil 2006. Loss of habitat has forced this 24-foot anaconda onto a local farm in search of an easy meal. These police officers don't yet realize that they could be on the menu. Anacondas are non-venomous snakes and they're constrictors. That means that instead of using venom to kill prey, they actually strangulate them. A monster anaconda like this could squeeze the life out of a human with little effort. Five policemen are restraining the snake when the officer at the head loses his grip. It just latches into the guy's hand. And you can see it's right in his arm, just really biting hard. They have these movable pieces in their jaws. So it's almost like a flexible jaw. And as hard as you pull out, I'm sure the guy cannot get his arm out of the snake's mouth. Its teeth are dangerously close to an artery. But the snake's so strong, three men can't pry its mouth open. The policemen are frantically trying to pull the jaw out of the guy's arm, but they're not grabbing the actual jawbone. They're grabbing the skin around it, and that's not the way to do it. So it's just probably irritating the snake even more. The solution is really counterintuitive. The only way to get your arm out of his mouth is to stick it further into his mouth so that the hooked teeth will release the flesh. Finally, the officer is able to free his arm. If they were properly trained, it would only take just a few people to safely handle that anaconda. But because of all the commotion, the situation turns dangerous real fast. Both the cop and the anaconda were only slightly injured. The snake was later released back into the wild. 